Okay, so here is the Ford, and what I did is figured out that there were on this key, it's uh, it's less, it has less cuts than the the other key. This key here, I don't know if that makes any difference or not, but uh, at this point, this key in here has like one or two, like one more cut, I think. It looked like one cut, but maybe two cuts, more cuts on this than this key. This is the passenger side door key, and oh, I finally, uh, well, I went and bought one of these lock pick kits. Pretty cool. I saw this one here, and I thought, oh, that one will probably work. But no, nah, this thing, this thing wouldn't budge. Basically, uh, finally, what I did is I just kind of gave up on this thing because I was trying to tweak on it with these picks and everything, and. Uh, it just wouldn't work. So I looked at the key. I got the key with the most cuts and I had to use both hands on that thing And I finally got it to turn to the on position And so what am I have to do now? I'm gonna have to take this bottom panel off and then push the detent the detention button and then try and pull this thing out There's a little button in here. You can pull out and then I'm gonna try and replace it with this other one Or I may try and lube it up. This is a little bit older one and so yeah this thing had been sitting for like uh, probably at least two years before it was turned on so that thing was like really stiff I mean it finally turned but I had to use both hands that's supposedly the right key for that and so thank God this one's over uh, now all I have to do is take this off and pull that out and then swap it okay so I finally got it out and this little detent button here on the top, that thing there, actually stays in. It will stay inside and then you can pull it out. It, once you push it in, it seems to lock in place and then you can pull this out. And the older one I got is not quite the same. So the older one is not going to fit. And the older one I've got is not quite the same. And so it's not going to fit. It has a it's a di different setup you can see I don't know it might fit it might fit but it's a different it looks like a different setup I mean the end part here is the same but uh, it looks shorter basically it's almost the same it might work Okay, let's look at this thing here. <laughs> I have no idea why that thing was so stiff. Because when I turn the cylinder with the key by itself, it's fine. So it could be something back inside there that's stiff on it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it was a little tricky to get out. And so I'm, this thing here, when I when I turn it by hand, it's fine. So I don't understand why it was so sticky before. Anyway, I'm gonna put it back in there and then try and see if it's gonna be loose again. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Okay, so I think what has happened is that little piece in there where this end fits in. That end fits in. That little piece right in there is stiff. It's just stiff. And what I've done is I sprayed some tri-flow in there. It's just stiff inside there. It's just as dry as a bone inside there and it just won't uh won't turn very easily. It will turn, but it's like really hard. So apparently these things what happens is, is they get dry inside there. And then they'll cause that problem. And what I've done is I sprayed a little bit of this in on mainly the lock area. I didn't spray it back inside there. I did spray some tri-flow back inside there, uh, but you can see that it's still, here I'll show you, uh, it's still really stiff. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I mean it takes pretty much all my finger power here to do this. It's like really stiff. Yeah, it takes, it takes all my hand power right here. It may loosen up as time goes by. 
I'm just going to leave it in and uh, I may take it out again and uh, spray some kind of lube up in there but yeah it's it's really hard that it's, it has nothing to do with the steering uh, lock <laughs> no it's just really stiff <laughs> and that was the problem